Hi, I'm Rich Formidoni from Casio. Since 1980, Casio Tone keyboards have enabled millions of players of every age, skill level, and budget to enjoy making music anytime, anywhere. Now, meet the CTS 500, the Casio Tone that puts pro-level sound quality and versatility within everyone's reach. It's a source of inspiration for your home studio. It's a portable and reliable partner for gigs and rehearsals, and it connects to everything. At its heart is Casio's award-winning AIX sound source, which powers 800 tones across 36 categories. First up is one of the many variations of our nine-foot German concert grand piano. There are also vintage electric pianos, electromechanical and tape instruments, and sought-after synths. Advanced tones give you layers and articulations that react to the way you play. We've even included classic Casio sounds from our VL, CZ, and VZ series synths. There's a massive selection of tones in every category. And if you need a jamming partner, there are also 243 accompaniment rhythms ready to back you up in a huge variety of styles. The active DSP button lets you add an arsenal of DSP effects to any part of your sound and adjust it on the fly. There are reverbs, delays, stomp boxes, amp and cabinet simulators, compressors, and much more. There are 100 customizable DSP presets with up to four effects in each one. The CTS 500 is sleek and compact, but it's also roadworthy and reliable. Its solid case has a grip on the back which makes it very easy to carry, and it weighs 10 pounds. It has 61 full-size touch-responsive keys and a great-sounding stereo bass reflex speaker system with an immersive surround effect. It comes with a device-ready music rest and an AC adapter, and you can take it to go with six AA batteries. For even more portability, just add a strap and you can play wherever you want. The CTS 500 also comes with the WUBT10 Bluetooth audio and MIDI adapter. This lets you send and receive MIDI data wirelessly, sample Bluetooth audio, or use the keyboard as a Bluetooth speaker. It's powered by the keyboard itself, even when you're using batteries. As you can see, the controls are simple and easy. What you can't see, though, is how flexible and powerful this instrument really is. There are three assignable knobs that you can use to control filters, layer balance, or just about anything else you want. This bright backlit display shows you everything you need, and the five buttons beneath it are what make the CTS 500 so easy to use. Press tone, and they let you split, layer, turn on the arpeggiator, and more. Press rhythm, and they become controls for your backing band. Press registration, and they can save and recall your favorite settings. Press home, and they become customizable shortcuts to anything you want, including splits, layers, effect switches, portamento and arpeggio switches, or any of the 130 available options. There's a built-in six-track recorder to help you create, or you can connect to your favorite DAW and soft synths using USB MIDI or Bluetooth. 
You can create room for yourself in your favorite songs by removing melodies or vocals from audio coming in from either Bluetooth or from the analog audio input. The arpeggiator has 150 patterns, including bass lines, guitar strums, randomizers, trills, even animated filter and panning effects. With the built-in sampler, you can create a custom tone or drum kit using WAV files or using audio coming in from Bluetooth or the analog input. The CTS-500 is well connected for any stage or studio, with quarter-inch line outputs, a sustain pedal input, and an assignable pedal input so you can use either an expression pedal or a foot switch. The class-compliant USB MIDI port works with the free Casio Music Space app for iOS and Android. And it also works with just about everything else on Mac, PC, phones, and tablets, with no drivers or installation needed. Like every Casio tone before it, the CTS-500 is easy and affordable enough that anyone can enjoy making music with it. But this is the Casio tone that takes you to new heights. It sounds incredible. It's loaded with serious music production power. It goes anywhere, and it's always ready to bring your ideas to life. From all of us at Casio, we can't wait to hear you play it. Once again, I'm Rich Formadoni. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Anthony from LNG Live. Today we're going to look at the assembling and starting procedure of the trade power generator range. Once you've unpacked your generator, very important, the blue pouch inside the pouch has all the necessary nuts and bolts for assembling the axle, the feet, and the handle. Another important thing in the pouch is your operating instruction manual. It's advisable to read this. It tells you all the do's and don'ts of the generator. We're going to move on to filling the oil. Uh, on the dipstick, you'll see that it has a tag. It says, no oil, please fill before starting. What we'll do is we'll unscrew the dipstick. You'll see the dipstick has a level indicator on it, but very importantly is to read that instruction manual. It also shows you a diagram of where the oil level should be. Once you have filled your oil, make sure that the dipstick is replaced and it is screwed on tightly. We're going to move on to connecting the battery now. Very important is to connect the battery first before filling with petrol in case there are sparks that we don't have a fire. In the pouch that we spoke about earlier are the nuts and bolts for connecting the battery. The black is to the black and the red is to the red. Black is negative, red is positive. Obviously, the nuts and bolts tightened with the correct spanners. Once your battery is tight, we're going to move on to now filling up the petrol. 
You remove the cap on the top, fill it with petrol. The petrol uses your standard unleaded petrol. Very nice feature of this machine, it has a fuel gauge indicator which tells you whether the tank is full or empty. Once you've decanted your petrol and it's full, replace the cap. Now we're going to move on to the starting procedure of the generator. Now we are going to start the generator. On the front panel you have an on-off switch. You will put the switch to the on position, your petrol tap to the on position, your choke lever to the on position, then you would pull start it. Once your machine is running, very important that the choke lever must go to the off position. I'm now going to start the machine. With this generator being electric start, when it comes out the box, the battery may not be fully charged, so it is advisable on first startup is to pull start it. Once you've run it for a while, next time you go to start it, all you would do is follow the standard starting procedure, put your petrol tap on, put your choke on, and you'll be able to start it with the key. Switching the generator off now with the electric start, all you would do is turn the key to the off position and the machine will stop. When you're finished using your generator, to switch the generator off, you would go to your front panel, switch your on-off switch to the off position, the machine will die, you'd go to your petrol tap and switch that off. Very importantly, if the generator is going to be put away in storage for long periods of time or not be used, it's very important to rather have the machine run with the petrol tap in the off position to drain the excess fuel of the carburetor and then you can put it into storage. Once your generator is started, you take your three-pin plug insert it into the socket, switch your circuit breaker on and you'll have electricity. <laughs> Philips Air Fryer use rapid air technology to cook food with little or no oil. To get the most out of your Philips Air Fryer is important not only to clean the basket and the pan, but also the cooking chamber. How often you need to clean the air fryer depends how many times do you use the air fryer and what food you're cooking. More your food is fatty, more you need to clean both the basket, the chamber, and the pan. The basket and the pan should be cleaned after every meal. The chamber it should be cleaned regularly. The pan and the basket are dishwasher safe. To clean the cooking chamber, we need to prepare a solution of baking soda, some water, and use just a, a spray bottle. To make the cleaning solution, you just need to put two teaspoons of baking soda inside a spray bottle. Then you fill up the bottle with 200 ml of water. What we need to remember naturally is to shake the mix. Before you clean the air fryer, make sure you switch the air fryer off. Let the air fryer cool down and always remember to unplug it from the wall. Use a titeo because we need to put upside down or air fryer. Carefully spray some of the cleaning mixture inside the chamber. Leave the air fryer upside down for around one minute. After one minute, move it in the normal position and leave it there resting for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, let's repeat the process. Let's open our air fryer and put upside down. If at this stage you see some grease around the chamber, just use some paper towel to remove it. Then, with your bottle, give it a good shake and spray more solution inside the chamber. 
Let the air fryer rest for one minute, upside down, and then put her in normal position. After the 30 minutes, open the air fryer and using a paper cloth or a normal cloth, clean inside the cooking chamber. Reinsert the basket and the pan. Put around 400 ml of water inside the pan. And now, let's switch the air fryer on. Set the temperature at 200 degrees and the timer at 20 minutes. Let's press start and we leave the air fryer doing their own things. Once the cycle is finished, remove the pan with the dirty water and dispose of the water. Allow the air fryer to cool down, then using a brush, brush the element and with a paper cloth remove any residual. Now your air fryer is ready to use. Your perfect cappuccino and all the milk-based beverages can be easily prepared at the touch of a button. Always use our branded DeLonghi coffee bean range for best coffee results. Coffee Pot. Sharing the pleasure of drinking up to six cups of a delicate coffee. For anyone who welcomes guests in the afternoons or even enjoys more than a cup. Thin layer of cream, long-lasting and delicate flavour. To make the beverage, proceed as follows. 1. On the home page, press the image corresponding to the coffee pot. Select the taste required for each single cup and the number of cups required. Fill the tank with water and fill the beans container. Once you have made sure there is sufficient water and coffee for the beverages you want to prepare, press next. Place the coffee pot under the spouts. Press OK. The appliance proceeds with delivery and the image of the selected beverage appears on the display, together with a progress bar, which gradually fills as the operation proceeds, and a description of each individual phase. Grinding, brewing coffee. Cotardo an espresso cut by an equal amount of milk with a thin layer of minimum level foam. Fill the milk container with a sufficient quantity of milk, not exceeding the max level marked on the container. Make sure the milk intake tube is correctly inserted on the bottom of the milk container lid. 
attach the milk container to the connection nozzles and push as far as it will go. The machine emits a beep. Place a sufficiently large cup under the coffee spouts and milk spout. To lengthen the milk spout, adjust the extension. On the home page, press the image corresponding to Cortado. Brew Over Ice, designed to deliver a smooth and robust flavor experience that never tastes watered down. To make the beverage, proceed as follows. On the home page, press the image corresponding to Over Ice. Select the parameters to be customized according to your tastes by pressing Next after each selection. Place the ice cubes in the glass. Suggested quantity, six cubes. Place the glass under the coffee spouts and press OK. The appliance starts making the coffee and the image of the selected beverage appears on the display, together with a progress bar which gradually fills as the operation proceeds, and a description of each individual phase, grinding, brewing coffee. Tea function. Choose the ideal water temperature for your tea. White tea, green tea, oolong tea, or black tea. Place the tea bag in the cup and position it under the spout. On the home page, press the image corresponding to the tea function. Adjust the parameters that can be customized according to your tastes. Press start to begin delivery. The appliance proceeds with preparation and the image of the beverage appears on the display together with a progress bar, which gradually fills as the operation proceeds and a description of the phase. When delivery is ended, press save to save the settings or cancel to retain the previous parameters. Long black. Two shots of espresso poured directly into water to retain the crema for a more intense flavor. To make the beverage proceed as follows. Press the image on the home page corresponding to a long black. The appliance proceeds with preparation. The image of the selected beverage appears on the display, together with a progress bar, which gradually fills as the operation proceeds and a description of each individual phase. Water delivery, grinding and brewing coffee. Mug to go, a special function for people who want to create and customize their own beverage to take away. To make the beverage, proceed as follows. Select up to two ingredients in the required order of delivery, then press next. Select the preferences for the selected ingredients. Press okay to start preparation. When the required quantity of the ingredient being delivered is reached, press stop. When delivery is ended, press save to save the recipe.
www.forhome.co.za Online shopping the easy way.